Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We have another beautiful day ahead of us. We're excited about being up here when it's this type of weather. And so just praising God for all the beauty he gives us all around us. A word of recursion comes from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, beginning in verse 11. We hear that some among you are idle. They are not busy. They are busy bodies. Such people we command and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and earn the bread they eat. And as for you, brothers, never tire of doing what is right. You know, as I read this passage of Scripture, uh, I'm reminded that it's important that we continue to move forward. It's important that we continue to, to do the work of the Lord. Uh, now, that isn't saying uh, that I'm okay for you, those of you like me who are probably a little, uh, I don't know, how do we say it, um, addicted to work, um, that, that, is, that we can't ever you know slow down that we can't ever take a rest in fact you know i would encourage all people god give us uh, a sabbath as a day of rest for us uh, to rest and recoup and and we should be having a sabbath we should have a, a set time if not a full day but a set time we're spending with the lord um, and, and worship of him and not worrying about work and those type of things these verses are are more for those who who don't ever work who are sitting around idle who uh you know are basically getting into other people's business, if you will. We call it gossip today or, or, or that type of thing. Uh, and, and, you know, if you're one of them, you're probably uh, feeling a little uh, twinge right now from the Lord of, of, of the fact that we need to get off of our, you know, behinds and, and get up and get to work. Um, and, and the truth is, when we're busy for the Lord, we don't have time for that other stuff. We don't have time to get involved in all the gossip. We, we, we try to stay focused on what we're doing for the Lord. And that's what I think the Paul is saying to the Thessalonians here is that, uh, you know, let's not be idle. Let's not sit around and gossip. Let's not just wait for the next thing to happen, but let's do the work of the Lord. Let's give to him. Um, in fact, verse 13 says, never tire of doing what is right. Now, again, at times we do get tired. At times we're maybe, you know, we need to take a breath or a breather or a vacation or whatever. But when we're not doing that, then let's keep working. Um, our labor for the Lord is not in vain, it says in 1 Corinthians 15. And I, and I think that's true here. Is we, we want to be firm. We want to stand up. We want to do God's work uh, because it's not in vain. And we only have so much time. I don't know about you, but you know, life just seems to be passing us by. Um, you know, every day we get a day older. Uh, as, as we get older, I don't know, just, at least for me, it seems like the days seem to be shorter and times go by quicker and we wake up and it's, you know, uh, like May 11th today. Um, seems like it was just, you know, the new year a few days back. And yet here we are five months into the year. Before long, it'll be summertime for the kids and then the fall and Christmas and then in 2024. And all these things keep flying at us fast and we just kind of keep getting older. Um, and, and we want to get older, but, you know, because the alternative is, is is no longer being here, which if we're on our path to heaven, that's that's great. But let's make the most of the time we have here. The day will come sooner than we like that uh, we'll finish our days here and stand before God either in judgment for the sins we've committed or atoned for by the blood of Jesus. Um, and so let's do as much as we can here. We only have so much time to reach out to those around us. In fact, I kind of say we go through seasons in life and, and, and people come in and out of our lives and we only have that much time to, to love on them and to share with them and to, and to you know, be Jesus to them, if you will, or, or you know, to share a relationship with God with them. And so let's do our part. Let's not get grow tired. Let's move forward. Uh, and let's accept what Paul's command us to do. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your great love for us. Thank you, O oh God, for just this reminder from Paul that you don't call us to sit around and be idle and wait upon you. You call us to go out and, and do your work. Father, sometimes that's not easy because things aren't always black and white. And we're trusting you to open doors and close doors according to your will. But Father, we trust you and your Holy Spirit that he will guide us and lead us each step of the way. And so Lord, help us to not be idle. Father, in fact, if we are idle, would you speak to our hearts right now and show us those areas or those times where we're being idle um, and that we might be encouraged to, to, to not be idle and to move forward? Father, if we're on the other end of the spectrum and we're working too much, if we're working, uh, if we're addicted to work, if you will, um, Father, we pray that you would show us that as well, that we might find proper rest in you. Uh, Father, we we know that it all starts with you. We know that Jesus, Father, stopped to take time to pray and to, to be revitalized by you. And so, Lord, help us to find our place in the midst of that spectrum. Help us, Lord, to be fully at one with you and, and in tune with you and yet out doing your business. And, Lord, we trust that you will bless that in our lives and bless that in the lives of those around us. Father, please bless those who need a special touch today, so many who are hurting. But, Father, you know each name, you know each heart. Father, bless them right where they're at, and may you receive all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Whether you have it, God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. I want you to have a good day in the Lord and hope to see you again tomorrow. God bless.